What's up guys? This is part two in a series of videos that covers creating your own, your own Revit structural template. In part one, I covered how to create the Revit template file. In this video, and in the rest of the videos in the series, I'm going to continue to use the same Revit template file I created. If you're following along with the series, welcome back. In this video, I'll be setting up the units I like to use in all of my projects. So I'm going to open the Revit template file and create it in part one. Go to the big R in the upper left hand corner, select open, and select the template file I created, click open. Once the template file has loaded, if mine ever loads, come on, you got it, there you go. Go to the manage uh, menu, select project units. There's a drop down menu for disciplines right here. So you think, hey, I'm structural, so I'll be selecting the structural option. Wrong. The units here under the structural option are mainly for analysis purposes, and I would only need to modify these if the project engineer needed those units in a specific format for his or her analysis. In my case, I don't need to make any modifications to the structural units. So as you can see here, it's four senior area moment. So, I don't need to make any modifications there. I don't do any HVAC, electrical, piping, or energy, so I won't need to make any modifications there as well. So, I'm just going to be sticking uh, to this common area. So, for my length format, I want to verify that the rounding, which is also known as precision of your dimensions, is to the nearest eighth. So, everything else here, suppressing so zero feet. Yeah, I'm going to select that as well. Uh, for this, it's if you have six inches, it suppresses the zero foot hyphen portion of it. So all you see is just the six inches. And click OK. For the area, I'm okay with that. I'm not doing any tagging that requires the area to be shown. Volume, I'm okay with that as well. I'm not really using that. The angle, I'm okay with decimal degrees and two decimal places. This, this unit symbol is cool. I'm gonna select suppress trimming zeros, and that suppresses the zeros after the point. So if I have a dimension that's 35 degrees, the dimension won't show 35.00, then the degree symbol. It'll just show the 35 degree symbol. That's it. That's what I want. So click OK there. And for the slopes, I like to see my slopes in a rise per foot when I'm tagging them, dimensioning them, um, and my precision, I like it as a quarter inch. And click OK there. Currency, I don't do any cost estimation, so the currency, I really have no need to modify. Same with mass density, I never really use this. Uh, just yet, so I'm okay with that. And that's it for the unit setup. So we click OK here, go back to the big R, and save our template. So that wraps up this tutorial. In the next part of the series, I will continue to work on the Revit template file and will cover setting up my line weights. I'm going to be transferring the line weights I use in AutoCAD over to Revit. So check that out if that's something that interests you.